Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a Frosty the Frozen Snowman. So you really have a big choice of colors. You do not have to stick with the colors that I have on my palette. Um, you can totally alter them. So I've got red, orange, yellow, blue, purple, black, brown, white, and gray. Um, don't forget to have my favorite brushes, my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. I also have a cup of water and a rag for keeping my brushes clean. So let's get started. Um, we are going to create our background for Frosty. And to do that, we're going to use a lot of white paint in big, huge circles. So lots of white paint, big, huge circles all over the canvas. Now, once we have, I don't know, four to six circles on here, we're going to start adding in some extra colors. So for example, I might throw a little bit of blue in. So I'm just using the tip of my brush. It's already a painted brush. I'm adding circles of blue. And some of these circles can be smaller and some of these circles can be bigger. It just kind of depends on which color you like best. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of purple. So again, I have not washed my brush off at all yet. I'm just kind of letting these colors play together and mix together. And then maybe even a little bit of gray. And then without adding any more color on my brush, I'm just gonna add white, but I'm gonna fill in any spaces that I see that are open with some more swirls. So any spaces that I can still see that white canvas, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of white paint on that brush and add some more swirls. Love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna wipe my brush off, wash my brush off, and I'm gonna let my picture set up to dry. When we come back, we'll add in Frosty and all of his background. With our dry background, let's go ahead and get our Frosty on this picture. So I'm gonna start with one big circle down here at the bottom, another medium circle on top, and then you guessed it, I'm talking like a regular snowman here, a smaller circle on top, okay? So we can go ahead and paint this whole space in white to start with. But we do want to work rather quick because we are going to add some color to the edge of our circles just to give it a little bit of depth perspective. So fill in those circles white, but move kind of quick or add a little bit of water to your paint so it's slightly more wet so we can add our second layer of color to these. With the same paintbrush, I'm going to add just a small amount of blue paint. I did not wipe my brush off at all. I'm going to start with my bottom circle and I'm going to add this blue paint, that light blue paint right on the edge of it. I can wipe a little bit of it off and then what I'm going to do is really just kind of set that brush down and let that color just kind of blend into that blue and that white. Let those colors play together a little bit. Um, as I kind of bring it in, I'm going to kind of circle it in towards the center of my snowman and it will eventually fade out. I'm gonna do that with every circle above it, but this time I'm gonna start up here and it's gonna go all the way around the base of that circle. So it looks like that second snow lump is on top of the first one. Do the exact same thing, kind of pull it in and then wipe that brush off and let those colors really kind of just blend together into the center. Now, if you notice that your center circle's a little bit bluer than your first one, just grab some white paint, wash your brush off, grab some white paint, start at the center, kind of pull it out, and that will help kind of lighten that center part up. snowman we have going on. I can wash that brush off and wipe it off. I'm going to go ahead and put my scarf on while he's still a little bit wet so that I have time to add in my detail still. 
So I just washed my brush off, wiped it off. I'm gonna grab some red paint. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right across the center area and I'm gonna follow the curve of his neck with some red paint. And then I'm gonna take those two red ends of the scarf and I'm just gonna kinda of make them float off onto the right side of my canvas. I can wipe that brush off. I'm also gonna go ahead and add in his cap. So with a clean brush, I can go ahead and take my black paint and I'm gonna make his cap kinda of tilted off to the side right here. So it looks like a, a crooked smiley face. And that crooked smiley face is gonna have a short curve to the back. And then a big old rectangle on top. And I can fill that whole space in as well. Wipe that brush off, wash it off. We're gonna let our frosty dry. When we come back, we're gonna add in some of his final details. All right, let's finish our cute little frosty here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some snow to my background. So I'm gonna use the back of a pencil and I'm just gonna add some polka dots of white any place I want my snow to go. Perfect. With that done, I'm going to use the same back of my brush with some black paint to do my buttons down the center, but I'm going to set it down and then I'm going to make a small circle with it. And you can make your buttons colored if you want, or you can keep them black. That's totally your choice. I kind of like the uh, authentic frosty look, but you don't have to like it. Now I'm going to zoom you in on his face and his hat because that's really what's going to make this picture pop. All right, so our frosty face and our hat are pretty simple, but they don't look simple. So for my frosty eyes, again, I'm gonna use that black paintbrush. I lied black paint on my pencil and use small black dots from that. Now his mouth is gonna be kind of a crazy curvy line. So I'm gonna use some watered down black paint on my number one round brush. I like to water my black paint down when I do skinny lines. I think it just goes on a little smoother. So it's almost like an inky consistency. And his smile is gonna be a two curved lines at each side. And then it's just gonna kinda of come down and up. I'm gonna take some orange paint and make a curved line right here with a long triangle for his nose. And that long triangle is gonna have tip kind of curve up a little bit. And then we're gonna add some yellow to it to lighten up the top and make it look just a little more rounded. I'm gonna add the back of my brush with a small little dot for his eye with white paint. And then I'm gonna switch over to my number six round brush and some light blue paint. What we're gonna do with this light blue paint is we are gonna make some lines on here. So first of all, we're gonna make a line that kind of shows where his hat um, kind of comes up and down and up. So it kind of looks just like his mouth. Okay, and underneath that, we're gonna make some little hashtags. So hashtag lines are 
their cross hatch lines, you just kind of go at, at angles. So they're diagonal. So you're gonna go some going diagonal to the bottom right and then some up to the top right. See that? Now you can make your Frosty's um, ribbon on his happy any color you want. I'm gonna stick with the same colors I had for my scarf. So that's gonna be a curved line. And if you feel like that black is showing through too much, you have two choices. You could either let it dry and add a second um, coat of red paint, or you can add a small amount of white paint to it. And that'll really kind of make it pop. Now the top area of his hat, same thing. We're gonna add a couple of little hashtag lines so these are, again, just kind of lines that kind of go across each other. And also down here, we're gonna add a couple. Now, along the tippy top of his hat, right where we made that first curve line, that's where we're gonna put our snow. So I'm gonna take some white paint on a clean number six brush. And I am going to just dot and dab along this blue line, kind of letting it be chunky in some spots and skinny in some spots. We're also gonna have that be right along the top of his hat, chunky in some spots, skinny in some spots. take a little bit of white paint and on these darker areas I'm just gonna add a couple of white lines just to kind of give him a little bit more form and texture and I'm gonna do that through his whole body so let's let's look down at the bottom part okay all the way through here just a couple of extra white lines just to give him a little bit of extra form also going to water down some of my brown paint so just like my black paint when I make skinny little lines I like to kind of water it down and I'm going to give him some arms so I'm going to use black paint I like brown paint the little bit of white on my brush so brown and a little bit of white and I'm gonna make my little frosty arms start as the letter Y and they're kind of squiggly wiggly letter wise you know, you can add a couple extra branches in there if you want. And if you think that's a little too bright for you, add a couple of dots of black in there. Wipe that extra black off and then just kind of run those colors together. And that little bit of black really just adds a great dimension to your picture. take just a little bit of white paint and kind of dab and dot it on to his arms. A little bit of white paint for some highlights on his scarf. Now let's look back at this hat so we can add our icicles on. So much like we did his snow, we're gonna do the same thing with the icicles. So I've got a clean number six brown brush and all I'm gonna do is find a spot and I'm gonna set my brush down with some white paint and I'm just gonna wiggle it down and then just pull apart, okay? Now, what we're gonna do with this though is then we're gonna go back in with a little bit of light blue paint and we're just gonna squiggle right on top of it allowing just some of it to attach, but not all of it. So again, any place I want it to go, probably not on his eyes, I can set my brush down and kind of squiggle it down 
Maybe make some longer than others, some shorter than others, some nice and close, some far away. You have to think these are icicles, so they're not they're not all gonna be the exact same length and distance and squiggliness and all of that. You have to let go of your your type A personalities and just have fun with your icicles. Icicles are too cute. Let's zoom out and see what we need to do next. I really love his icicles. The only couple things I think he might need is I do feel like there would be a little bit of snow right up here on the top of his red ribbon. So I'm just going to add a little bit, not too much. Of course, it's not dry, so it's turning to pink. So I got to add more paint on top of it. I like to rush things. Have you noticed that? I do, I just wanna see what my end product is gonna be. Maybe even a little bit right here on the edge of his scarf and where his scarf knot is. But other than that, I love him. So you know what to do. When you're finished, you have to pick a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your name. I always put my initials in the bottom right corner. Don't forget that I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you are kept up to date on all of the latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.